Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell laptop. This is a Dell Vostro 14 3000 series. The exact model is at 3400 and in this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can clean service and clean your laptop from inside the motherboard, the heatsink and repaste the CPU if yours is really heating up and you feel like it's just slowing down because of the over throttling on this CPU then you might want to re repaste and service it. You should be doing your own servicing once every year, year and a half, depending how often, how, how much load you're putting on your laptop. So I recommend you based on, I see many clients, every year, year and a half is really ideal. This is not a benchmark, so I'm not gonna compare the temps before or after. This is just a regular uh, thermal pasting and cleaning. I'll leave the link for uh, tools that I use and everything that I use in this video so you can check that out. All right, first thing first, you want to power off the laptop. You don't have to worry about your files or anything like that. They are going to be left the way it was before. You want to power it up. So I'm going to go over the tools. Tool number one, a very important one, is a good screwdriver set. I always recommend the iFix screwdriver set as they have one of the best screws out there. They are, these are made of S2 class steel, that means they never go bad, they are really toughened and hardened steel. I got myself the basic tool set. We're going to use a Phillips number one. If you get the Pro set, it's a little bit expensive, but they give you with an opening tools and tweezers and stuff like that. If not, for the opening tools, I'll use the guitar pick, a metallic one. And a plastic spatula is good to have a curved or straight tweezers. A very important one, alcohol. 99% or 98% at least isopropolic or isopropolic alcohol. And you will need one sheet of the workshop towel. I highly recommend to grab yourself the workshop towel. Do not use microfiber towels. And I'll explain that right now. The reason I use the workshop towel is because as soon as you put alcohol in here, you want to clean the motherboard, the thermal paste. This will rip apart before damaging the components on the board. But if you use microfiber towels, those uh, strings can get stuck between the capacitors and they can yank them out. So always use this workshop towel. They are really handy around the house. You can clean the screen and stuff like that. It's good to have. For thermal paste, you can use whichever you wish. I recommend MX4 or MX6, Arctic MX6. But if you want to go over the budget and overkill, you can go with Thermal Grizzly Extreme or Normal. These are really expensive, but again, for this model, it's not worth it. With an MX4 or MX6, it's more than enough. All right. We did all this on hand. Also, you need a used or new toothbrush. That's for to clean the dust mesh in here. So with all this, let's get it started. First thing first, once we are under the laptop, you're gonna see a whole bunch of screws. We're gonna remove all the screws except two screws. The two screws that we're not gonna remove right now are the two back corners. These ones we're not gonna remove because they have something called a C-lock. A C-lock will prevent the screw from coming out entirely and it serves a different purpose. And I'll show you that in a second. So I'll leave these two screws in the corner alone and remove the one beside it on the side and the three in the front. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Go ahead and remove all of them and keep them in one pile. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All right, once we remove these screws, now we're going to go over the screws that I was talking about. The reason for the seal lock is once you try opening, it's going to push the cover away from the palm rest. So look at that as soon as I rotate, and you're going to see the palm rest. It's just coming up. And you're gonna keep rotating until you hear your click sounds. That's when you wanna stop. Same thing on the other side. You wanna rotate. You see that gap opening. And then a few sounds and let go. If you keep rotating extra, nothing's gonna happen. It's just gonna be stuck there. Now I'm gonna grab it, pull it like this, upward and wiggle it up and down. Same thing in here, up, down. You wanna hear those click sounds. You think that it go breaking, but not just bring it up and down, and you're gonna loosen up the tiny clips that they have all around. All right, you can take it outside, use a toothbrush to clean the dust machine here. 
And then right down here, we can see the battery, the fan system, and the one heat pipe that goes right in here. The air goes through the mesh and blows right on the back side. To, before you do anything, we're gonna disconnect the battery. To disconnect the battery, lift up this gaffer's tape toward the back. Now we're gonna put your fingers on the side of this here and on the side of this white jack. And you wanna pull it towards the battery evenly all together. And then you wanna disconnect it like that. Next, you wanna grab your tweezer because I don't like yanking on this one. You can put your fingers again on this white jack by the fan jack right in here and pull it back with your fingernails. Or you can use a tweezers, put it right beside it. I'll do this way and then push it toward the CPU, like that. Just make sure you put your hand here, don't let go, otherwise you're gonna slide this one over the component and you're gonna scratch everything and damage the motherboard. So instead of using this one, if you're not careful enough with the tweezers, use your fingernails by pulling this jack backward, by not holding the cable, All right? You're gonna remove the two screws on the fan, So these two screws, and you can grab the fan, lift it up, the uh, LCD cable goes right through here, zigzagging around it, you can untangle it without disconnecting it. It is possible, but I'd rather disconnect it, otherwise you're gonna damage the cable. Just lift up this cover upward 90 degree, this flip tank, uh, 45 degree angle, just slide it backward. And that way you can untangle it. Remove the four screws, you can slide this one out. If you don't want to remove the heat sink, just slide this out. Take it outside, use a toothbrush to clean it up and blow some air through it. Remove the screws on the heat sink. Again, these screws that have a C-lock, so you just want to do a few rotation and then you hear that click sound and you want to let go. There we have it, now we can lift up. Oh, they have this is factory thermal paste. Look how much thermal paste they have from the factory. So don't worry about it. if you put too much, nothing's gonna happen, so it's safe. Okay. What I'm gonna do first, grab a little bit of a workshop towel in here. I'm gonna put an alcohol, nice amount. And I'm gonna wipe over the CPU. Just grab this excess of thermal paste, put it in there. Flip it inside out, just go in a circular motion and just wipe it nicely. Uh, you only care about the crystal dye, you don't care about all around it. So just clean up the crystal on the uh, CPU. The main crystal is the CPU, the second one is called a PCS chip. In the different models, this secondary chip is in a different location, but in this model, they brought it on the same uh, CPU. So we're gonna grab this one, put your fingers at the back so you don't bend the tubing. Just wipe it. My fan is pretty clean. If yours is dirty, just take it outside. Just clean it and blow some air and that's it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab my thermal paste. I'm gonna put one line on the CPU die and one drop on the PCS chip. Next, you wanna grab your heat sink, put it right on top. Hold it down gently from the middle. Follow the numbers one, two, three, four. Or you can do four, three, two, one. As long as you cross a screw this one, that's the purpose of the number. So I'm doing four, three, two, one. Doesn't matter. But as long as you cross a screw them, the, the reason is because that way the thermal paste evenly spreads itself towards the on top of this uh, die. Put the fan right underneath. Push down the connector for the fan. Bring the LCD cable all around. This LCD has a little earlobe on the side, so you want to bring it down in 45 degree inside the jack, all the way inside. Make sure goes, the earlobes are inside, and then you want to close this latch. Put the two screws on the fan. All right. To finish it off, grab the connector for the battery evenly in front of the jack, set it down in front, and just pinch them inside the connector. And that's it.
Now, once you power on, it might take up to 30 seconds to for it to show anything on the screen because we have disconnected the battery. There's no CMOS battery in here. So bear with me, just uh, leave it. Let it sit there for 30 seconds before it shows anything on the screen. Don't worry about it. Grab the bottom cover, put it on top, push down the corners. Corner front, sides, and mid back. Don't push on these corners. You want to twist the screws and it's going to pull the cover to itself. After that, if you see any gap openings, you just want to pinch them together and it will go to its place. And this is how you do your own service for your Dell Wastro 3000 series. If you guys like this video, you know what to do. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just going to finish up putting up the bottom screw.